17-22. An entirely different environment here. It's still desert, but it's different somehow. There seems to be more people here than in every group place in Arizona, like, you know, like Phoenix. This place, everybody's spread out. And my uncle Jerry and my aunt Carmen lived out here a long, long time ago. My grandmother did once too. I never could see what they saw in this place. Yeah. Dust, heat. My parents never liked it either. The heat seems to be more intense, but they tell me it's usually a lot hotter than this this time of year. So, what does that mean? <laughs> Don't know. For certain. Could be a cycle. A natural phenomena. You know, nothing to do with climate change, perhaps. One thing's for sure, I thought I was clear of the uh, monsoons, and it turned out that the Calico KOA I was not. A thunderstorm that hit there knocked out the power up and down the interstate. There were two of them side by side on either side of the interstate. The wind blast that they were from, that they were producing nearly ripped my tent down. I'm still seeing damage on my bike from the rain. Now, I don't mean electronics. I'm talking about what the rain left behind. Deposits all over my bike and trailer of something. I don't know what. It could be the dust. Uh, Matt Cotton told me that the dust in Arizona, when it gets wet, it turns into kind of like a cement. This is kind of like this. It coats everything. It's really remarkable. It looks like little uh, stalactite uh, configurations. And it coated my mirror. It's like, wow, what the heck happened here? It's hard for me to maintain this shoulder. It keeps disappearing and reappearing. And hard at the same time to look around. I'm quite astonished by everything. <laughs> 